Hey guys, how are you going? Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at what is Teensy. Now you might have heard of it before and not known exactly what it is. And simply put, Teensy is a really powerful microcontroller. Uh, it's compatible with Arduino and it also has onboard ARM Cortex processors which makes it really appealing for lots of makers who want extra grunt for their projects. Now, it's designed by a company called PJRC. Um, part of, half of that is Paul Stoffrigen, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Paul Stoffrigen, and he is the brains behind these boards. And they're awesome, they're so cool. They're very small, and as we said, they're compatible with Arduino. But one of the things that makes these really appealing is that Paul's actually gone ahead and created a whole bunch of libraries specifically for these boards, but they're also compatible with other Arduino boards and pretty much created an entire software structure around these guys so that you can use them exactly the same way you would a regular Arduino. Now, to give you a bit of an idea of the, the power um, they're packing, this is uh, sort of the next up from the base model. We've got the 3.2. TNC here, we've got the 3.2. Uh, then newly released this year, the 3.5, uh, the 3.6, and the Teensy LC, low, low cost. Um, so even the 3.2 is running a 96 megahertz uh, processor based on ARM Cortex uh, M4 processor, I believe. Um, and so we've got four different models here. Uh, the, we've got the, as I said, the Teensy low cost here, the 3.2, and then I've got a 3.6 board here. So there's a 3.5 and the 3.6, both were only released this year, 2016. Uh, but they're act the boards are actually exactly the same, just with a slightly different uh, chip on board. So let's take a look at what it is that makes Teensy so awesome, because the reason people love it is not only are they powerful and small and compatible and all these awesome libraries, but uh, part of the work that Paul has done has embedded a whole bunch of USB device types into the profiles in Arduino. So if you connect an Arduino up, it'll connect as a serial port, which means you can send serial data uh, back and forwards, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't act like a USB, it doesn't act like you know, other USB devices you might be familiar with because it's only acting as a serial device. However, with these guys, you can select, uh, you know, I want, I want this to be a MIDI controller. I want it to be a flight simulator joypad. I want it to be a sound card. It's got built-in audio capacity. Um, so you can do all that kind of thing with it. It's awesome. Um, so they're super, super easy to set up, as I said, and the serial thing is what makes them really the big winner. You've got, uh, so as I said, 96 megahertz on this guy. The uh, Teensy LC has, I think, 48 megahertz processor, and the 3.6 is running a 180 megahertz processor. It's huge, it's got one mega flash on board. Um, it's got so much grunt, it's ridiculous. So finally, we might be in the time where uh, the projects we make aren't limited by the microprocessor, more just limited by our creativity and imagination, which is a really exciting place to be in. When you look at the fact that even the 3.6 is gonna cost you less than 50 bucks, um, it works straight out of the box, you plug it in with the USB cable and away you go. Uh, value for money wise, these are probably some of the most versatile microcontrollers anywhere. They're super, super awesome. You can see I've uh, soldered some, uh, some headers onto this 3.2, I've been using it for a few few projects, check out our projects module for uh, some more, more info. And the Teensy LC and the 3.6 I've got here um, uh, don't have the headers on them, so uh, you can get them with headers, I believe, but generally you're gonna have to solder those headers on. Super simple though. Um, yeah, the awesome, well, the other awesome thing is that they've got a huge amount of GPIO. So take this 3.2 board, it's uh, around 18 mils by 36 mils or so, uh, dimension wise. And it's got on board a ridiculous amount of IO pins, I think 34 pins, most of which are broken out onto these uh, these headers here. And the rest, you've got some SMD pads underneath here that you can use SMD headers with or uh, solar connections directly to them. Super, super awesome stuff. Uh, so that's, I guess, what is Teensy in a bit of a nutshell. In a few other tutorials, we're gonna be taking a look at how to set these boards up with uh, the Arduino IDE and program them. Super simple, so check out that tutorial. And also a bit of a more in-depth comparison about the you know the different boards. So you know the differences between the Teensy LC, the 3.2, 
uh, the 3.5 and the 3.6. Again, 3.5 and 3.6 pretty much look identical, just with a few different uh, specifications. And there are there are current gen models. There's been the Teensy One, uh, the Teensy Two, and whatnot. And there was the Teensy 3.0, the Teensy 3.1. But then those guys were sort of improved upon and then shelved. And you've got uh, the current lineup of the 3.2 and and onwards models. Super awesome. Uh, if you're a fan, grab one today. You can get the TNC LC for around uh, $24, which is awesome. Get building with your projects, and we'd love to hear some feedback on what you guys think of these new boards. So that's all for today, guys. Check out our other TNC tutorials and projects. We'll see you next time.